observers occasionally report they've seen a golden eagle in eastern North America. It's possible, but it's not likely for two reasons. First, there are very few golden eagles in eastern North America. It's principally a western bird. About 250 pairs breed in eastern Canada, none in the eastern U.S. The most recent attempt was in Maine, 1996. Some of the Canadian birds winter in the eastern U.S., mostly in the Appalachian Highlands of Virginia and West Virginia. The eagles arrive in Appalachia by Christmas and depart northbound by the end of March. Another reason to be chary about golden eagle reports in the eastern U.S. is the similarity between adult golden eagles and juvenile bald eagles. The adult golden eagle is uniformly dark. The gilding on the nape and leading edges shows in certain light but less against a milky sky. The subadult bald eagle also appears uniformly dark, lacking the glaring white head and tail of adults. There is white on the juvenile bald eagle, but it's salted over the entire bird in variable speckles and freckles and is easily overlooked. It's worth noting that both eagles require five years to reach adulthood, so a high percentage of eagles we see are juveniles. But please notice I say chary, meaning careful, but not dismissive of eastern golden eagle reports. Populations are stable, but the number of reports is on the increase, more because of attentive birders and remote cameras than because of increased bird numbers. It's a forest bird in the east, favoring steep, remote, rocky terrain. But I once saw one in a coastal marsh near Charleston, South Carolina. The bald eagle has made a dramatic recovery from near extinction in the east and is now easy to spot, especially along rivers. There are thousands of juvenile bald eagles in the eastern U.S., and we might be forgiven if hope and optimism call one a golden eagle.